You can read Mike North in the Daily Herald. You can hear him with Steve Friday afternoons. You can watch his Daily 30 and 5. Video commentaries at 560WIND.com. His visit with us brought to you by the Village of Rosemont and also home comfort, heating, cooling, plumbing, and electric. Mike North, good morning. I don't know whether to believe in the Bears I saw play San Francisco or the Bears I saw play the Vikings. Which do you think? Well, first of all, it's good to be uh, on with you guys again. I'm badge number two and a half. But to beside that, I think it's somewhere in the middle, guys. I think it's somewhere where they weren't as bad as they looked against, uh, you know, uh, San Francisco, and, and and they're not as good as they looked last week against Minnesota. So I think we're looking at somewhere towards the middle. You know, I I, I think if Cutler's out, they're thirteen and two with him as a starter in his last fifteen games. So I mean, is there any? You know, every quarterback's important, but we know this: our backups are not good enough. So Cutler, it's all about his health, and everybody else got to step in behind him. Well, Sunday's game was a costly win, and yeah. the injury list keeps getting longer and longer. I know we have two ankle injuries, two knee injuries, and a concussion. When will Devin Hester be back? Well, you know what? It, 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 it's probably you know because he uses his legs, and you, and plus he's got his head, and he doesn't know how he's feel. You know what? We don't know. I mean, they're very secretive up there. Who cares? He hasn't been anything in two years. Well, you're right, John, in a way. But you know what? He's very important to Brandon Marshall. When he went out, Brandon Marshall uh, comes down with 12 catches for 97 yards. So this kid's been unbelievable. But you need everybody to churn. You may need Devin Hester to return a kick. You want him around, but the mistake was made to make him a receiver to begin with. But uh, that's what they did. And hopefully we can get a kickoff return on because it's been a couple years. What about Lance Lewis? I saw that dirty hit. I thought it was awful. Was that player fine for doing that? You know what? They haven't uh, handed that down yet, but I will say this, that it was a dirty hit, but... Uh, you know, Lance Lewis is one of these guys with a, a long number of other offensive linemen that uh, did the job. It was a dirty hit. He will probably be fine, the player. But, hey, you know, it's football. We'll go on. There's fines every week now. I mean, there's fines for just hits that used to be normal, Amy. It's just ridiculous. They're finding guys when, a, when an offensive player lowers his helmet. Oh, oh. So. How would Jack Lambert do in today's game? Oh, how would Butkus or Tatum? How about Tatum? <laughs> yeah. Tatum launched himself yeah. like a Scud missile into Stingley. Daryl Stingley, we know what happened. They'd be outlawed out of the game. Yeah, yeah, this game has certainly changed. Oh, thanks. it's really changed more than any other any other of the sports. I mean, basketball, uh, baseball, not you know as violent, of course. But I mean, Anthony Davis from uh, the New Orleans Hornets just had a concussion. He got elbowed to the head, and he wasn't even wearing a helmet. So it, it it's really uh, gone the other way, where they're almost going overboard now in the safety thing. Well, how does the rest of the season look to you if you were laying down your good money? Uh, I still, you know what, I was worried. i got to be honest with you guys. I was worried uh, the last two games that they lost, but I was very encouraged the way they played Minnesota. I mean, Minnesota, one of the few teams they've beaten that is that is pretty good. They're 6-4. and four. The thing that worries me about the Bears, guys, is they haven't beaten San Francisco, Green Bay, Houston. Those are the teams you got to beat. And after watching San Francisco and New York, I just want the Bears to meet the playoffs and then to use the old cliche of one game at a time, hopefully. If you could trade Lovey Smith for Jim Harbaugh, would you? Boy, that's a great question. Yeah. That's a darn good question. Yes, because Lovey's been there. Here, I will say this, though, but we can't get Harbaugh, so I'd give Lovey Smith an extension because if you guys seen what's on the sidelines – in the yeah. National Football yeah. League, you got, you got coaches throwing flags that don't know the rules. You got guys uh, that that basically are calling four straight running plays up the middle. Lovey Smith has done a darn good job with the Chicago Bears. The thing he's got to do now is beat somebody that's really, really good, and they got to get into the playoffs. And once they get in, I guess it's it's one of these deals. Do you want Lovey Smith? How about this, John? Would you rather have Lovey Smith or Jim Schwartz? I uh, love you. <laughs> exactly. So, That's hey, you know what? The grass is green around the other side till you get to the other side. I'm all for giving Lovey Smith an extension. All right, with so many players injured, what do you expect this weekend against Seattle? Well, Seattle's got to be aggravated. Uh, you know, they lost a toughie. I, I expect the uh, Chicago Bears to keep on ticking because the main guy that's playing is the quarterback, Amy. And he, if he's hurt, we got issues. Everybody else, you can fill in. You can, you know, uh, uh, design the game plan uh, to cater to the needs of the players that we have in. I'm not worried about the injuries. There's only one injury I'd be worried about, and that's if the quarterback goes down because we just don't have a number two, and we haven't proven that we could have a number two that gets the job. How would you like to be San Francisco? They got a number two quarterback yeah. named Alex Good Smith. Good problem to have. Good yeah, problem 20 to have. and 5, guys. 20 I'd and 5. For that. I'd trade Cutler for that guy right now. Uh, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to disagree Even with you. with the tattoos. 
Which oh, me. well, Kaepernick to me, Kaepernick's the guy, and now they're talking that Alex Smith may start this week. So I may, I think Alex Smith was still suffering from the effects of the concussion. Harbaugh played this up, got Kaepernick some experience. I'm looking for uh, Alex Smith to start this week. Michael, thank you very much. All right, guys, take care. Mike North here on AM560.